Welcome back to Breakfast with Roth. Rainer, thank you so much for bringing it in. Rainer's actually doing the swim here at Challenge Roth on Sunday. We, again, are brought to you by Nitro and Flapjack. Our next guest is the producer and director of both Spirit of Marathon 1, Spirit of Marathon 2, and they are here looking to make a film on the sport of triathlon based at the 30th anniversary of Challenge Roth. Gwendolyn Twist joins us. Gwendolyn, how the heck are you? I'm good. Thanks, Bob. So... The difference between working on a running movie, right, and and for folks who don't have not maybe have not seen either Spirit of Marathon One, Spirit of Marathon Two, talk a little bit about the genesis of those films and what you were trying to achieve through those. Sure. When I first started with Spirit of Marathon One, there hadn't been a film done um, on running like that out there, and it was basically I wanted to make a movie that I would want to go see in the theaters. And the first film, Spirit of Marathon, we follow six characters as they train and then ultimately run the Chicago Marathon. Mm -hmm. And it's um, a little sprinkling, a little history on why it's 26.2. And then basically the fans um, over years and years just kept saying, like, when are you going to make another one? When are you going to make another one? So we then made uh, Spirit of Marathon 2 where we wanted to do something different. So we did it internationally where we did it in Rome. Mm. And again, we followed six characters. Um, and we tell a little bit of a different story where it's uh, more their their human interest story, more their story about how, why they're running Rome. Right. And um, and then I was approached to uh, come and do another film, triathlon about the sport of the triathlon. And um, I'm really excited because at first I was thinking, you know, I, I don't know. I've already kind of done these films, and you know, I'm not really sure what this sport has to offer. But then the more research I did. And uh, the more I got involved with, with the people in the sport, mm -hmm. I realized every person has an amazing story. And this sport is just amazing. I mean, it just has so much to offer. And nobody's done it yet. Nobody has told this story or the history or anything about it. And that really excites me because there's so much to be able to show. I mean, there, there's just a lot of history with this. The thing with Challenge Roth and the history here because a lot of the Iron Man has aired for years uh, on NBC and done the, and they've really the high standard uh, NBC show Emmy award winning it's phenomenal, but nobody is really focused on. And I look at Challenge Roth as probably the second most important triathlon in the world, and has 30 years, great history, amazing athletes, Lothar Leader, Chris McCormick. Some of the athletes you're going to focus on are you. I know that uh, uh, Marinda Carfrey, mm -hmm. you've done some filming with her, and she's two-time Ironman world champion, her first time here. Who are some of your other athletes? We're going to also be fo following Luke McKenzie. Who finished second in Kona last year, yeah. Yep, and he just had a baby, so right. we're going to be focusing new on, dad. on new dad Kay. and just trying to incorporate training while trying to also be a family man. Mm -hmm. uh, we're also going to be following a first-timer, Bessie, and she's never done a long distance, so we're going to get a lot of the first-time jitters with her. And then we're following uh, Chi Dong, who is China's number one triathlete. And there's not a lot of triathletes in China who make a living no. doing this, so he's pretty unique. And then I'm very excited about Rudy. We're going to be following Rudy, and he's a w double above the knee amputee, uh, yeah. and um, I just his story is so fascinating. I'm, I'm excited to kind of show um, that anybody can do this sport. And, and his challenge is obviously trying to figure out how to motor himself through the bike because he doesn't have quads and hamstrings. So there's every one of your stories has a, has a challenge associated with it. But the the the, uh, the canvas for the race, the canvas for the movie, is the race itself. And I thought with Rome especially, I thought that came across so well because really a big star of that film was the Rome Marathon in the city of Rome. Is that what you're looking for here because of the whole family atmosphere, the historical yeah. nature of this event? Definitely, and, and Germany is so beautiful, and where we are, Roth is so beautiful. I mean, this is gonna be another character in itself, the race and the family, and, mm -hmm. and like you said, it's, it's just gonna be a perfect backdrop to showcase this sport. And so while you're here, this is a Wednesday of, of race week. So the rest of this week is scrambling around getting interviews. What? Uh... Yeah, it's it's all about last minute preparations to have the film crew out there uh, following our characters and just capturing the essence of the sport. And then also just uh, capturing the pre-race jitters. Right. And then we'll also be doing some filming afterwards where it's a post-race, you know, telling us how, how, how the race went. went. Yeah. So the races you've showcased in the past have been 26 miles. This is 140.6. That means camera crew. That means being out there. Up, you know, people will be finishing in 15 hours. Yeah. So it's, it's a long day. Most marathons are, what, three to five hours. So it's a, 
it's a it's a different beast. It's a totally different beast, and and I I equate this to being like a a triathlon in itself. You know, you got pre-production, production, post-production. I I feel like that's what this is. You know, you got the three, and I feel like this sport is got the three events. I I feel like um, I'm just comparing, trying to put this beast in itself as uh, trying to train for a triathlon. I mean, you just, you have to go in pieces and just slowly mm-hmm. work your way through. And um, but it's going to be great. It's it's such a great sport. I can't believe I didn't know about this, you know, five years ago. Like, what, what it has so, to offer. So are you going to race on Sunday? What's the deal? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm definitely not ready to, to race, but there, there might be... Someday in the, in the future. future. If you've got a running background, which you just ran a 311 marathon, you can pretty much do anything. Uh, what is the time frame in terms of when people might see this in the theaters? We're looking at early 2015, so January, okay. February, March. Um, right in that ballpark. Yeah, ballpark, you know. And, and if we don't hit that deadline, then we're going to hold off and then release it in theaters um, right around September, October for another big event that comes up right around that time. So <laughs> triathlonmovie.com? Um, it's triathlonfilm.com. Triathlonfilm.com yeah. for yep. people to find out, getting updates on when, where, what's next. Yeah, and we're also on Facebook. So if you check out triathlonfilm.com on Facebook or triathlonfilm, yeah, yeah. Facebook, you, you can find out more about us. And there's also a fundraising page. There is. So we are currently uh, fundraising this out of our pockets at the uh-huh. moment. And um, so we are on indiegogo.com, ch- challenge. Roth, uh, it's triathlon film, uh-huh. um, and yeah, people can go there to help support, and um, we also have cool swag on there that nice. they get. So um, yeah, we're just hoping people will want to help out and see this on the big screen. I love it. Gwendolyn Twist has been our guest. We again are brought to you by Nitro and Flapjacked. We're going to bring in the swimmer and accordion player, Mr. Rayner, to take us out. Rayner, it's all yours, buddy. All right, everybody, thanks again for tuning in. We'll be back with more interviews. Hold on. We'll be right back.